What's going on our Sizzle Nation? I am hooking up the boat. We are getting ready to go on another adventure, but I wanted to tell you about the video you're about to see. If you remember, this video is part two of our shark fishing trip to Sanibel, Florida. We fish through the day and into the night. Check out this video and see what happens on day two of our shark fishing trip and also learn some great tips and techniques for beach shark fishing from world-renowned shark wrestler, Elliot Sudal. Well, it's really Dude, that f***ing going out. Was it? Yeah. I saw the balloon going out and I was like, no way, sun's on. And uh, man, we were just too late on it. Nope. Yeah, good thing I reeled that in. Look at that, we just got wrecked. That's well, gotta definitely be a shark bite. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Something's out for there. For sure. That's All right. It. Well, that's a good sign. Crossing our fingers. Hopefully we get another bite here really soon. I feel better. It's food. It's cold. All right, here's for the, colder. It's colder. Here's for the update. We fished all night. We, we fished till like 11 and Elliot, it looks like he slept on the beach. So we've had shark baits out for like 20 hours right now. Bite is horrible. I think he's still sleeping on the beach. We're, we're, gonna, go, we're gonna go find him and surprise yeah. him. We slept but, in the apartment. Yeah, like we just had breakfast and walk, Brian just walked over to check it out, but like all the rods are still out and the tent and everything is still down there. So we just gotta see if Elliot's there. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, you're for 21 hours, man. 21 hours. That's it? Yeah. Crazy. 21 One hours. Way. 21 hours. Lines in the water. <laughs> they don't want to work with us. Uh, oh my goodness. What do you think, Elliot? Uh. Just keep fishing, man. <laughs> They're out there. There's he doesn't give up. There. All right, so as far as the rod and reel goes, we have an AVET TRX uh, 80 wide here with over a thousand yards of 200 pound braided line. I got about 50 yards of uh, top shot of 250 here, so you need some stretch and abrasion, abrasion resistance on there as well. So this, this reel put off 130 pounds of drag. No one can hold on to 130 pounds of drag, uh, even 80s and 90s. It's, but, yeah. So we have it there just in case uh, we hook into a 15 foot hammerhead or something. But basically that's clamped onto a 130 class uh, unlimited custom Barrett here. Uh, roller guides the whole way up, it's uh, seven feet. As far as the actual terminal tackle and the rig itself, I, uh, I, I make these crazy um, claw sinkers. Basically out of uh, copper wire, old egg sinkers, uh, a swivel, electrical tape, kind of whatever tape it all together, holds in place. It basically works like uh, works like an anchor when it digs into the sand. I mean, that that's like two pounds. It's not gonna go anywhere. It'll hold, you know, a really heavy bait in place. But from there, I put a couple beads, and I, I'm really a big fan of these uh, crimp protectors because you don't like when your things get knotted up near the, where, where you crimp them together. But I, I tape everything. I do crimps, uh, nice and swivels you can get here. Um, but basically then I go to 600 pound mono for a little while here, another barrel swivel, and then I do nylon coated wire for about four to five feet, then I crimp it to a circle hook here, which I also cover with electrical tape because it covers up the metal and sharks are very sensitive to signals, metal, signals given off by metal in the water. So uh, I try to keep it as covered up as possible and basically how it works is we drop the bait off and uh, you know probably six to seven hundred yards out, maybe farther, and uh, drop it like that. The bait kind of trails behind, and when the shark picks it up, this weight, uh, the line will slide, and you'll hear the clicker go off on the reel. So when they pick it up, it doesn't set instantly. Like, you gotta let the shark run with it for a while. The way circle hooks work, it's not like, you don't set them like a J hook. Like, the shark will, you know, have the bait in its mouth, and then as you go tight, it'll kind of catch in the corner of its mouth like that. So. The way this works, it's just safer for the shark. They don't gut hook. They uh, they work really well, especially you know setting a hook from that far out. I mean, it's like a lot can go wrong. So if you are using a circle, it, it's uh, I think it's the best way. It's the safest way. And so once everything's deployed, uh, you know five or six hundred yards out, uh, basically you leave the drag 
as loose as possible um, so that it doesn't move with the tide, but it'll basically you know, go very easily once the shark picks it up. Because you don't want the shark to feel like anything's wrong with the bait. You want him to kind of chew on it, get a good like hold on the bait before you throw 80 pounds of drag on there and sprint backwards. All right. Okay, now I think it's time to go catch some sharks. Let's get the bait out. All right, we're on day two. Got all the baits out, four baits right now, and gave it our best shot again. Now about, I think it's almost closer to 4 p.m. in the afternoon, the next day, second day, and been fishing with Elliot out here on the beach. Elliot spent the whole night on the beach last night. Basically, we've had lines out for over, what, 20, 27 hours, something crazy I've, like I that. I haven't left the beach in 27 hours, and all yes. I is a yeah. starfish. Yeah, all we got is a starfish. Water's but, 55 degrees. I mean, yeah, water's cold. There was a you know, change in the weather lately. And you, you know, that's fishing, guys. I mean, like, you come out here and you put your time in, you put the, get those lines out. We had six lines out for like 27 hours. Yeah, six baits, you know, switching around. There's no exception. Tuna heads, everything. We had every, literally a different bait on every single uh, yeah. On rod. Every yeah. single rod. Like, switching it out, pointing everything to start fish. <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So like, you know, the hard work, you know, we put in some hard work, guys. I mean, we did not have like, you know, it is what it is at this point. So we had a great time, guys, but I also want you to check out Elliot Sudal's uh, Instagram page, Axe Sharks. I'll link it down in the description below. Guys, I promise you he has some epic shark pictures. Like I said, he released over 200 sharks during 2017 and tagged all of them. So he's an epic shark fisherman. Please be sure to check him out. Check out his cool photos and Morgan. I'll link his girlfriend Morgan down in the description below as well. Both of them are an awesome couple, and we're gonna be back really soon. We gotta get on these sharks again. We yeah. gotta get them, gotta get them. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.